um hello everyone a uh, warm welcome to everyone uh, for level up your life session 2 so we appreciate your participation and look forward to supporting you in your journey to become a better person and smarter uh, talking about our guest speaker tonight we have uh, arpita bhat with us she is a lawyer specializing in intellectual property media and technical laws uh she has a decade of experience in contract negotiations corporate advisory and imparting basic legal knowledge to the masses a socio legal activist she has proven record of providing her legal acumen to the betterment of society she has been a past president of uh, leo club of vidya vihar she is also our legal partner for our event stand up for a cause which is happening on this coming sunday 7th may So I would like uh, Arpita to take over from you. Thank you so much, Vanchika, for that uh, warm welcome. And uh, yes, I'm happy to be back uh, at Leo Club of Vidya Vihar uh, doing my bit, and it feels a little nostalgic. So, without much ado, um, few things I will be uh, sharing a PPT presentation. Don't worry about screenshot clicking. Nothing. It's nothing out of the world. If you want, I can even share it on the group. point number 1 point number 2 any images that you see in the presentation okay they are not created by me i hold no copyright it's only for educational purposes so uh, the format of the entire uh, session i have kept it in a way that first i'll give you a background of what are the basic laws in india few of you may know few of you may not know uh, that helps us to take us to the next level uh, the four categories which vanchika had shared uh i'll be discussing them but in an innovative way like a question and answer and towards the end we can take q and a for any questions which you guys have and anywhere in the middle of the presentation you feel you have some doubt you can unmute yourself and ask all right uh just give me a moment okay let me know if you're able to see my screen yeah it's visible all right uh know your rights uh, basically uh, the idea for today's session is to let you know basic rights uh, whereas we all have remedy under law that gets triggered only when you know that you have a right okay only when you know where the wrong is happening that's when you can go and question right so uh, yeah this is something uh, which i always tell people ignorantia juris neminim excusat now this is a part of our indian law ignorance of law is no excuse however i always come across or bump into people uh, who are not aware about the basic law of india and uh, it is quite not right because if some day you get into any kind of uh, activity or a cop happens to catch hold of you you just can't simply say that okay sorry boss mujhe to pata hi nahi tha ki main galat kar raha tha so uh, this is the maxim behind it Yes. Firstly, we'll discuss what are the organs of government of India in order to understand how who has what kind of rights. All right. There are three branches. One is the legislative, second is executive, and third is judicial. Legislative is, of course, our parliament. Uh, they are the ones who actually make law. Uh, quite a weird scenario because whereas it's up to the judiciary, that is the lawyers and the bench. to interpret laws the entire mechanism of making laws is on legislation uh then in between the two lies executive wing so that's where uh, your entire public servants come into the picture your um cops come into the picture so they all belong to the executive wing uh what is the basic constitution of india yeah we all know the preamble since ages we the people of india right uh it is a living document um it is the document which actually uh, you have to abide by or which happens to fall into your lap ever since you are born in this country um in one of the interesting cases keshav nand bharati it was held that whether constitution can be amended or not fortunately they said yes and unfortunately for us it has been amended n number of times i if i'm not wrong some 126 number of times our constitution of india is amended till now what are the fundamental rights and duties you can see this entire uh, chakra so that's your fundamental right right to equality uh, article 14 to 18 if all of us are aware currently the entire uh, uh, what do you call uh, currently the entire sensation in the country revolves around same sex marriage uh, they call it as marriage for equality 
Uh, so that is also somewhere Article 14 to 18 come into the picture. While I will not get into the details of whether one should support to it or not, but yeah, that's how right to equality comes. It's right to freedom. All of us love our freedom. Uh, I definitely do. So Article 19 to 22 gives you specific right, right to freedom of speech, expression, movement, profession, all of it are your constitutional rights. Uh, then you have right against exploitation. Even that is your fundamental right. Freedom of religion. All of us are free to practice whichever religion we want, irrespective of what is the religion by birth. So that's where your constitution comes into the picture again. Cultural and educational rights. Yeah, right to education, right? Uh, RTE, if you guys must be aware of, it is stemming from this article 29 to 31D of the Constitution of India. And right to constitutional remedies. If you feel that there is any wrong that has been done to you, you may knock the door of the courts uh, under these articles. Yeah, constitution is one document which is uh, article driven and not section driven. Fundamental duties. Oh, wow. We also have duties. Yes, uh, with every right comes a duty. So we have to be this, uh, we have to abide by the constitution. We have to respect our national flag, national anthem. So every time you remember, we go to theaters and we see many of the people not standing up for national anthem while it's not compulsory but uh, that is one of your duties just remember if you're asking for rights then always remember duties uh, to cherish and follow the noble ideas um, uphold the sovereignty and unity of India and um, while you can see all of it common brotherhood preserving the heritage you know humanism and spirit of inquiry public property and abjure violence you need to safeguard all of that uh, and towards excellence in the spheres of individual and collective activity. Uh, these rights, more or less, are granted to us. And also, uh, who is a parent or guardian, there is a right to provide opportunity for education to his child, as the case may be, between the age of 6 to 14. So again, that is, um, you know, one of the obligation, one of the duties as a parent or guardian in this country. Okay, what are the forms of laws in India? I'm not going to dwell into detail, but you need to know that, oh, there are forms of laws. Oh, yes, there are forms of laws. What are they? Criminal law. Chori Dakati, criminal law. Civil law. Civil law. Writ. Oh, now what is writ? Okay, I need um, right of equality. I go, I file writ directly to the High Court or the Supreme Court. So you need not go to the hierarchy, but there are certain qualific qualificatory measures that one needs to take when it comes to writs. Yes, most of the time, if you see, uh, I don't know how many of you are aware, a pretty much young uh, crowd we have today. But if you would have come across uh, your parent or your uh, relative, anyone saying that, Are we happen to file the case, but jurisdiction may not Or if you go to the police station, 90% of the time, if you want to file a complaint, okay, not when cops catch hold of you and take to the police station. That time, jurisdiction doesn't uh, come into the picture. We'll talk about it in detail later. But if you knock the doors of police station to file a complaint, uh, most of the time, ye aapka aap kahan rehte ho? Ye pura crime kahan hua hai? Ye police station ke jurisdiction mein hai. Yaar, ye jurisdiction hai kya? Okay, it is the extent to which a court of law can exercise its authority. Now, um, whether a case is admissible or not, uh, whether a complaint is admissible or not, is determined on a number of factors five in particular, which you can see here, subject matter jurisdiction. So like a district commission can assess only consumer cases under the Consumer Protection Act. Now, I can't go to a district commission and say, cheating ho gaya hai mere saath, mere saath fraud ho gaya hai, I want to file a criminal matter. No, that is not their jurisdiction. Territorial jurisdiction, the most common one, 90% of the time you go to the police station for complaints or you go to the courts in order to file a case. The first thing is seen whether it is in the territorial jurisdiction or not. Within Mumbai also, if you see Bombay Court, uh, Bombay High Court, it also has three benches. So uh, if a crime is committed in Maharashtra, you have to knock the doors of the courts of Maharashtra. You can't really go to Delhi and say that I want to you know, file a, a petition. Pecuniary jurisdiction. Um, so pecuniary is monetary, basically. All the uh, commissions, uh, most of the civil matter courts, they have pecuniary jurisdiction, uh, wherein it is determined by the value. So uh, let's say in a district commission, they cannot try matters wherein the value of service or goods is beyond one crore. So if 
let's say three crore four crore matter some goods are uh, you know taken over or they are suddenly missing you can't go to the district commission for it original jurisdiction uh, like you can rightly see here high court of allahabad has original jurisdiction with respect to matrimonial and company law matters so uh, it particularly envisages in some of the courts uh, in india appellate jurisdiction high courts and apex court they have appellate jurisdiction that means right to appeal kabhi bhi any time you feel that a decision is not in your favor uh, you can go to these courts uh, in order to you know understand whether um, it's basically an appeal uh, to determine whether you have another chance to really get the matter in your favor as per the laws and facts of course structure of courts in india now uh, this is what majorly the structure is at the apex we have the supreme court currently uh, uh, dr dvy chandrachud uh, the chief justice of india uh, is at the apex body supreme court and the five judge bench is judging the same sex marriage case i am referring to that because it's very much a hot topic and most of the people must be some way or the other aware of what's happening there high courts yeah that comes under the supreme court all the states they have a uh, high court a uh, district and session court come be below that uh, it's for metropolitan area and then comes your civil judges and metropolitan magistrate there are various other sub categories also but i'm not getting into all those details this is majorly how the structure is right uh, pil you know um, if you would have seen ke hum ghar mein baithe hain navratri hai okay uh, if uh, gujaratis are there um i'm not going to uh, hurt your sentiments here please navratri chal raha hai kukreja palace ke baju ke ground mein navratri chal raha tha kukreja palace mein se kisi ne complain kiya oh what what happens then basically if there is noise pollution the residents around can actually knock the doors of the court to file a pil what is a pil public interest litigation wherein they have to prove that it is against the masses most of the time pil is done in environmental matters that's why you see most of the pil coming up for for noise pollution for air pollution uh, mr mc mehta is said to be the father of pils because he has filed a lot of public interest litigation it is very cost effective and uh, in this case the court will not ask for locus standi as to with what with what authority are you there before the court that is what it means when you say locus standi uh yep basic issues faced by layman so um, i'm directly jumping now next to what are i have roughly come out with six issues that uh, are usually faced by people um yes the very first being can a police complaint be filed only in person that is let's say i want to file a police complaint do i have to go to the police station to file a complaint very basic question many of you must be aware of the answer for this what is the scenario in case of cyber complaints i don't know if any one of you has ever filed cyber complaint you should you should know this mechanism for sure which will deal with in some time uh the second part of the same question is can a cop that is can a police officer ask or force rather the accused to get the parents to come down to police station or make a call to the parents of the accused you know most of the time humne dekha rahega ki very innocently uh हम कभी कभार कुछ ज्यादा नहीं करते पर कॉप्स कम एंड देर आर सम इश्यूज दैट हैपन और फर्स्ट चीज बोला जाता है अपने मम्मी पापा को कॉल करो अपने पापा को कॉल करो आइडियली इट्स पापा ऑलवेज सो पापा को कॉल करने के लिए पूछा जाता है सो देन इन दैट केस इज इट रियली राइट ऑन देर पार्ट टू आस्क यू टू डू सो लेट्स फर्स्ट डील विथ वेदर यू कैन यू हैव टू गो इन पर्सन टू द पुलिस स्टेशन टू फाइल अ कंप्लेन well uh, the complaint file against if a complaint is filed against you then police will ask you uh, to come down to the police station in order to take you under custody depending on what is the nature of offence however you have a fundamental right under the constitution of india to uh, protect yourself against arrest and illegal detention what does this mean it means that uh, you have to be told the reason and ground of arrest okay फर्स्टली इन पर्सन जाना जरूरी है पुलिस स्टेशन में नहीं ऑनलाइन कंप्लेन भी हो सकता है बट एफ आई आर है तो इन पर्सन ही जाना पड़ता है बिकॉज अंडर द इंडियन पीनक बोर्ड इफ यू आर टू फाइल अ फर्स्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट यू हैव टू बी प्रेजेंट बिफोर द पुलिस ऑफिसर इन ऑर्डर टू फाइल इट ऑनलाइन कंप्लेन फिर किस लिए ऑनलाइन इज यूजली योर एन सीज मोबाइल गुम हो गया 
मुझे एफ नहीं करना है मेरा कोई सिम गुम हो गया क्योंकि यार एयरटेल में से दूसरा सिम लेना है वो लोग मांग रहे हैं कि पुलिस का कम, पुलिस को कंप्लेन किया या नहीं दैट्स व्हेन यू कैन डू इट ऑनलाइन एंड इट्स एन एनसी कॉपी दैट यू विल बी गिवन कमिंग बैक टू दिस इफ अ कंप्लेन इज फाइल अगेंस्ट एनीवन हुम यू नो आई आई नेवर टेक द फर्स्ट पर्सन ओवर हियर आई विल नेवर से दैट इफ अ कंप्लेन इज फाइल अगेंस्ट यू ओके इफ इफ इट्स फाइल अगेंस्ट एनीवन यू नो ऑफ देन रिमेंबर दैट फर्स्ट थिंग दे हैव टू टेल यू they have to tell the person is protection against arrest and illegal detention okay that means why are you arrested that is your right you need to know why are why are you or why is xyz arrested then second right is to consult a lawyer immediately because uh, most of the time we have seen that if somebody is taken into custody the the mindset actually over here the mindset plays a very important role and i uh, often give this example uh, if you see when when we were you we were kids we were said that oh you know if you don't do this cops will come and arrest you that was a mechanism used in order to inculcate fear in your mind but the problem to that mechanism is when we grow old we still fear cops like even if you're doing nothing okay even if you're just walking at 11 o'clock on the road doing nothing probably walking with your girlfriend on the road holding hand and doing nothing at all still if a cops van happen to stop next to you you'll be petrified first thing is like galat hua kya kuch kya hua that's the first reaction never be petrified always ask for reasons ask for reason to consult lawyer okay every person who is arrested or detained in custody they have to be produced before the magistrate within 24 hours of such arrest except let's say uh, we had a long weekend if everyone was aware agar kisi ka arrest saturday ko hua hai to use they can't produce within 24 hours the person will be produced to the court only tomorrow that is after all the public holidays are done um after that uh, yes there is an obligation on police officer wow interesting right kabhi socha hi nahi rahega ki police officer ki bhi duty hoti hai when it comes to arrest so they have to communicate the person being arrested for the grounds of error, uh, arrest and if the arrest is made in bailable case then they need to inform to them that they have right to be released on bail let's see the custody mein leke you know these processes are there uh, in our books and if we are aware of we are well equipped with then we can fight against them otherwise most of the time when people go and knock the doors of police station or if a complaint is filed against you uh, there'll be ulterior motives and means to extract uh, extract uh, some kind of uh, resource from you so that you need not get into all this gamut and you have a right to free legal aid okay if there is somebody who is a pop up okay that person can't afford a lawyer what next honestly speaking um, you see lot of people landing up in jail uh, who don't know they have a right to free, free legal aid so they are just being there their sentence is also over matlab kisi ne jeb katri ki hai 3 mahine ka sentence khatam ho gaya wo ek saal se andar hi baitha hai kyunki there is no one who is you know there to provide free legal aid and also they don't know that there is a right to free legal aid that's the worst thing uh okay the second part of our question oh can they can the cop really tell you main girlfriend ke sath chal raha tha road pe and we were not doing anything nothing just holding hands and walking and cop happened to stop the vehicle and say yaar itni raat 11:30 baje ye ladka ladki kaise road pe kya chal rahe ho tum kya kar rahe ho chalo mummy ko phone lagao can they do that okay now here one important thing comes comes into the picture there are two parts to this one tumhara arrest arrest kuch nahi hua hai ओके okay, तुमने कुछ गलत नहीं किया है और तुम्हें ये बोला गया है कॉल अप योर पेरेंट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग विदाउट बीइंग अफ्रेड दैट यू हैव टू डू इज आस्क देम बैक एज टू व्हाट इज द इश्यू व्हाई शुड यू बी कॉलिंग देम अप ओके आर यू बीइंग अरेस्टेड इज देयर अ वारंट अगेंस्ट यू इज देयर समथिंग रॉन्ग दैट यू हैव डन दीज आर मल्टीपल क्वेश्चंस दैट यू नीड टू आस्क मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम देयर इज मिसयूज ऑफ पावर एंड अथॉरिटी इन दीस केसेस 90% ऑफ द टाइम Okay, then uh, let's say okay, you get to know that uh, you were kissing on a public place. I am going to take such example. Please don't take it personally, but these are real life examples that happen. You were kissing in the middle of the road, uh, but it was night time, or maybe you were kissing at Bandra Bandstand somewhere in the corner, but it was night time, and cops happen to catch hold of you and say, "Acha sun, chalo, mummy papa ko call lagao." Oh, what do we do now, right? Uh, you need to understand. that yes there is something known as uh, uh, public indecency that you need to take care of but if the same incident has happened in the car then there is a proven judgment that car is said to be a public uh, a private place itself so 
some few relevant examples here and there let's say you're a minor okay 17 year old not 18 till now walking on the road holding hand of a girlfriend but not doing anything else ask to call parent no you have not done any offense they cannot ask you to call your parents second they can't ask any kind of money from you remember this you have not done anything wrong no money can be asked point number 3 why is it that okay fine i am an adult all right i am more than 18 can they still ask me to call my parents the thing is if you are not arrested they cannot but if you are arrested for any reason under any let's say some complaint is filed against you then in that case it is their obligation to call your friend your relative your family your guardian and also inform them about your arrest as well as they have to make an entry in the register that they maintain within the police station that they have done this particular obligation so remember before arrest not a right after arrest is their obligation okay so then i hope this point is clear oh yeah uh, fancy pictures right e cigarettes or vaping uh nothing to construe or ask you to do please don't take it that way what happens here mr q is a cool dude and he is a chain smoker he used to light a cigarette and start smoking right from the pan shop and then go on smoking till the trains bus stops you know other such place the college ke aas paas uh, bus stand tak chal raha hai humne socha smoke karte karte chal lete hain what is the law on smoking in india that's the first aspect let's see the first aspect first uh if somebody is smoking let's say near a pan shop okay currently in india the pan shop is not said to be a public place i don't know why i still don't know why because i see the number of people standing there sometimes they are quite some public places are very well defined okay uh they are places like your airports your bus stops your restaurants uh your railway stations all these are public places and if somebody is caught smoking cigarette at a public place then under the criminal procedure code there is a fine of rupees 200 okay if you are smoking at public place and this can be increased up to 1000 for spitting and smoking fortunately unfortunately um most of the time people are not uh, really caught for smoking but if you are a college student and there is a police van going around your college kind of patrolling for you then in that case please remember that this is one of the ground why they can arrest you uh they can't really arrest but they can ask you to pay fine all right uh second is um there was a very well established case from which all of this happened was milinder's devra case uh, wherein uh, smoking at public places was banned it was in 2001 that it got banned before that there was no ban as such on smoking in public places okay so mr q i hope you know the law on smoking in india uh then comes okay now after knowing the smoking law in india mr q feels that smoking is too mainstream oh let's try vaping you know is vaping legal or is it banned in india what was the reason for banning vaping well uh if you see firstly vaping the way it is advertised right uh, it is it is advertised to attract young people to try it out mostly over social media you know where wherever the youngsters lie i feel currently all the youngsters are inside social media most of the people are but youngsters are a lot uh there are they are being marketed as safer options or alternatives to conventional cigarettes oh wow you know isme kam tobacco hai ye try kar lete hai vaping is fun yaar come on yaar the kisi ko pata nahi chalega kahin pe bhi carry kar sakte hai usual tendencies i i have met a few people who uh, feel that oh vaping is much better uh, it's better than smoking and the ease the ease at which the vaping comes anyone can even sit in the house and vape right that's why and the, these are all advertising mechanisms the way they sell uh, electronic cigarettes the cartridges used in this uh, the so called ends electronic nicotine delivery system that's the name given to your e cigarettes or or vape whatever you call are filled with liquid nicotine uh they have flavoring agents and they have other chem- chemicals typically it has a cartridge about um, much of a nicotine of a pack of 20 regular cigarettes okay so if you're feeling that vaping is very safe please remember it it is very injurious to health 
and all of this is not a fact when vaping was banned when electronic cigarettes were banned in india that is in the year 2019 uh, some of the form of vapes were pens e cigarettes hookahs this banning had come into the picture because indian council of medical research icmr it had come up with a white paper and that also on a no tobacco day which talked about this electronic nicotine delivery system okay and they stated that it has adverse effect it there is also something known as passive smoking in e cigarettes so if we feel that are hum smoke kare baju wale ko koi farak nahi padega no it has the same amount of risk that a normal cigarette has and to an extent even more than that you know why because a normal cigarette can give cancer okay it has cancerous cell whereas when it comes to vaping it goes right in your dna it damages your dna it damages the neurological system the cardiovascular disorders that it gives i think uh, it's a slow poison but it destroys completely a human being so what happens vaping legal no it is banned 2019 okay no problem but i will still vape then what oh if you are caught just listen to this if you are caught there is a fine of 1 to 5 lakh rupees yeah as well as an imprisonment of 1 to 3 years okay that's quite some so it is not either or usually kya hota hai jab bhi punishment hota hai to either you have fine or you have imprisonment here it is fine plus imprisonment while those fine acha theek hai i'm not vaping you know a friend ne apna de diya electronic cigarette maine bas rakha hai mere bag mein if you are found storing the device you shall face imprisonment up to 6 months and a fine up to 5000 rupees 50000 rupees i'm sorry so uh, remember agar vaping karte hue pakde gaye to the cops are also not going to leave you it's a rich man's business that's how they view it so apart from whatever your uh, whatever n number of person is going to end up paying after the entire court proceedings apart from that also there will be a lot of money that will be gone just to get you out of the prison okay driving yeah exactly the picture i think most of us uh, this is most of us on a weekday driving to office or driving to college okay so i was driving the other day on road traffic signal was yellow but by the time you know it was yellow and ab ab hum mumbai mein rehte hain hum india mein rehte hain yellow dekha to usually bola jata hai slow down par hum yellow dekhe are red hone ke pehle nikalte hain so we speed up but by the time i crossed it turned red now the tra traffic cop caught hold of me and asked me for license i was not carrying the license on that day can i show the photocopy of the license or will i be fine and since i was not carrying the license uh does the cop really have the authority to penalize me for not carrying license as well and can a cop extreme cases you know many a times you see if you are on bike ye car mein nahi hota hai uh bike pe hote hai helmet nahi pehna kuch bhi nahi kiya to park karo apne license diya license hai nahi hai chabi le lete vehicle ka okay and then they keep it to them so that you come and you speak to them two aspects to this point number 1 uh can i show photocopy of the license well you can show photocopy of the license but it's very important for them to see the actual license because these days we all know that photocopies can be edited it can be marked mera expire ho gaya rahega main usme edit karke likh sakti hu ke it is for right that's why it is important to give physical copy but for that you have 24 hours all right all they have to do is they have to issue a ticket in your name and then within 24 hours you have to go to the particular rto office in which the ticket has been issued and show your license over there okay second point uh, helmet ke bina drive kar raha helmet ke bina chala raha tha main ride kar raha tha cops ne ruka diya abhi kya karu unhone chabi le li hai chalo maine license dikhaya sab dikhaya par wo bol rahe ye itna fine pay karo warna nahi milegi chabi ab fine nahi some other ways also we all know how uh, that entire vehicle mechanics and driving mechanics work no they cannot take keys away from your vehicle that is something which they are not authorized to do point number 1 if anyone is taking away the keys the only reason why they can do that is if you are trying to flee okay if you are trying to say ki nahi 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 aap license de do and then you are just about to flee then they can do something like that in order to prohibit you however having said that these days they have the mechanics of uh, clicking pictures and uh, uploading it and then asking you to pay the necessary fine so any cop coming and saying hum aapka chabi leke jate hai ya chabi le liya chal tu udhar aa remember they can't do that okay uh, that was driving 
now i am coming to social media social media is uh, be it instagram be it youtube we can see everybody is making money now most of the people have become content creators so let's say i am a content creator on social media i am all right uh and if i post a newly choreographed dance reels uh i am a choreographer i have this page jisme main roz dancing ke alag alag reels banati hu i have some uh 4 or 5 million followers and um, i put it on not just instagram on youtube as well as on facebook and then i see that um, these are my own original choreography because main kahin se copy paste karti if you're seeing a choreography you're making a dance reel out of it okay we'll deal that separately but this is my own choreography and recently i saw let's say mr robert savio name is changed okay the robert savio is very well known choreographer in the industry and uh, he has copied my dance move on jume jo pathan oh my god i'm astonished now what do i do do i have any right point number 1 we have to understand two aspects over here one making reels for my dance and somebody else you know making similar reels whether giving credit or not is secondary my account is public point number 1 so then in that case you yourself have authorized instagram or youtube you have to go and see their policies especially instagram they take away a few rights from you so that means main mera original content post karne ke baad sochti hu i am the owner no you are the author the, these terms are a little different author yani aapne wo video banaya hai yes aapka video hai yes aapko credit dena chahiye ha but aap uske owner nahi ho agar wahi dance video kisi ne apne movie mein ya kahin pe chalaya hai while you can knock the doors of uh, courts of course but you need to understand that you have made your profile public you have given the authority to instagram the owner becomes instagram and also to an extent they have the right that they can use your content wherever they want so please take a note of this and uh, secondly agar koi inspire ho ke aap jaisa reel banata hai i'll take out names over here there are a uh, lot of uh, instagram uh, pages like um, i know team nach they they keep posting regular reels so if you are going to uh, make a reel similar to what they have done and say that you know a credit is being given to them no issues at all because the purpose for them making those reels were you know so that people get influenced and they copy it all right uh all right uh there yeah again similar to social media there's an instagram page of an influencer for some panwala all right i this these are just fake names she has been promoting fashion wear jewelry and skin care products of various brand you know how these uh, influencers are right oh i have been uh, tomorrow morning i just woke up i had puffiness i used xyz product this is amazing the best part about and, and that's how they go on basis for review videos and reels on instagram and youtube i bought a skin care product now she had not mentioned that it was a paid promotion Yeah, she just took a review of the product and she put that entire thing description mein dala par kahin pe ye nahi likha that this is paid promotion because now you see instagram has a paid promotion option so then um though she has used the product for a long duration after an abc using the same on their skin there were rashes that were developed can she be held liable now of course uh, if you develop some kind of skin allergy the first thing you'll say are why do you want to go and sue kusum khan wala you can just go and sue that particular brand jiska tumne wo product liya hai par hame ye bhi dhyan mein rakhna hai ki jab ye uh, products hum lete hain aajkal advertising ke mechanics bhi change ho gaye hain aajkal hum tv ya ott ke sirf ads se influence nahi hote hum bahut zyada social media ads se influence hote hain to jab ye influencers kuch bhi products ya kuch bhi promote kar rahe hain and basis that you make any kind of purchases there are um, first thing that these influencers need to do is if it's a paid promotion they need to tag that particular brand they need to write that it's a paid promotion so a person who is viewing their uh, content they understand that okay fine it's an advertisement it's not a personal review of the product okay uh, second um, since in this case it wasn't a paid promotion as if it was a paid promotion but she did not mention it uh she is held liable under the it rules okay there is something known as it rules there is something known as it act which currently govern the dynamics of your social media so 
so influencers have obligations there is also consumer protection act which has rules and there is also advertising standards code of india which has come up with its guidelines for influencers so influencer has to abide by all of this and comply to it otherwise you can even go ahead and while you are suing that particular brand you can go and sue such kind of influencers or make them party to uh, these kind of suits okay um uh, it's a nice interesting thing i'm sure each one of us would have experienced this once in the lifetime agar ghatko par mein rehte ho to to guarantee aapne experience kiya hai nahi bhi rehte ho to bhi i'm sure some way or the other you must have experienced it have you ever bought a product from a store and paid for the carry bag paper bag yahan pe maine likha hai cotton bag or um, plastic chalo abhi to plastic band hai but any other form jute bag with the mark of the store on it or the name of the store on it okay aur aapko bola gaya hai ye uh, store ka bag hai ye aap lijiye and you are asked to pay so can the store ask you to pay money for such paper bags which has their brand name all right uh interesting question district consumer redressal forum ye consumer protection act mein aata hai ye sari cheeze so dcrf of hyderabad it had in the case of baglekar akash kumar okay it had pointed out two things and the history of this why they started charging uh, for the bags is very interesting because uh, in 2011 there were rules that had come out okay plastic waste management and handling rules सभी प्लास्टिक बैग्स मिलती थी तो ये बोला जाता था नो कैरी बैग शैल बी अवेलेबल और शैल बी अवेलेबल और फॉर फ्री टू द कस्टमर ओके दैट वाज द आइडिया दैट यू यू हैव टू चार्ज देम इट वाज अ काइंड ऑफ बर्डन बीइंग पुट ऑन द कंज्यूमर सो दैट दे रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम आस्किंग फॉर एक्स्ट्रा प्लास्टिक बैग्स एंड दैट विल डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली रिड्यूस वेस्ट इन दिस गार्ड व्हाट हैपेंड इज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टोर्स were selling plastic bags they were having their brand name logo and they were charging for it also suddenly in 2018 um, it was realized that okay fine this rule needs to be omitted it's of no good use it's not helping us and then of course in certain states like maharashtra plastic was also banned certain kind of plastic waste and bags were also banned so no shop owner can really charge for these kind of carry bags okay and they need they need to provide it for free to the consumer ab ye to ho gaya yaar uh, this is the case with uh, plastic bags what happens with the recent uh, paper bags and what happens with the cotton bags theek hai so october 2022 just preet uh, singh versus uh, 247 store um it was held that the store compelled the customer to take a carry bag now how do you say that the store is compelling the customer and these are all consumer forums so bombay ke forum kolkata ke forum sab alag alag tarike se interpret karte hai you should actually go and see various case law sbda ka case hai ye 247 store ka case hai kya hota hai isme now they are char charging for tissue bag paper bag pe sbda likha hua bata likha hua website likha hua okay website to i had personal experience which i'll tell later uh, and then they what they do is you buy products so they don't give you back for free this is as good as apple selling phone and not giving charger to you along with it are your phone bina charger ke kaise use kare there is a case in us wherein people will be given money by apple so uh, unko bhi bola gaya hai ki you can't uh, use your dominant position coming to this case in this case one needs to understand that products leke banda bina bag ke kaise jayega yani aap bag sell karte ho unko यू से दस रुपए का कैरी बैग ले लो या फिर कॉटन बैग है बीस रुपए का ले लो और उसमें बड़ा सा अपना ब्रांड का नाम लिख देते हो इट वॉज हेल्थ दैट इट वॉज एन अनफेयर ट्रेड प्रैक्टिस एंड इन दिस ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन स्टोर केस ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइन वॉज इम्पोज इन एन एस बी डा केस ऑल्सो अ फाइन वॉज इम्पोज टू वेन एवर यू आर आस टू कैरी बैग्स ओके टू पे फॉर द कैरी बैग्स देन इन दैट केस प्लीज चेक द कैरी बैग डज इट हैव ब्रांड नेम और लोगो इफ इट हैज ब्रांड नेम और लोगो यू नीड नॉट पे फॉर इट I have done it at multiple stores. The only problem with us usually is दस बीस रुपए का सवाल होता है सबके सामने कैसे बोले पीपल विल फील के अरे ये क्या टेन रुपीज के लिए वाया दे आर गूइंग जस्ट पे फॉर इट एंड गो बट रिमेंबर वेर एवर इट्स योर राइट यू शुड स्टैंड बाय दैट्स माई मोटिव ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन या 
next is um, i said we will talk about uh, some kind of debt recovery also right this is an example mr a gave money to mr b who was an agent for setting up of a tour and travel agency mr b was to return that money in a span of 90 days with interest a kind of uh, you know he said i am an agent i'll help you set up this agency and you just give me the money and i'll return it for initial setup 90 days ke baad aapko interest ke sath wo diya jayega wapas after 90 days when mr a approached mr b to return the money with interest mr b conveniently denied returning money okay he said i have no money do whatever you want to mr a and mr b had no single contract in place fortunately mr a had made a schedule of payment ke ye paise maine ye date ko diye hai aap mujhe ye date ko is interest rate ke sath wapas karenge aur wo sign kiya hua tha it was signed by both the parties what happens in this case what does mr a do now two ways jaise humne starting mein dekha civil criminal writ this matter at the face of it will appear to all of us civil hai yaar paise liye paise dene hai to civil case karo civil case in this country uh, goes on for ages okay it goes on for 5 years 6 years 7 years patience money resources all of it is going in those 5 years 6 years 7 years on the other hand one can file a criminal case oh wow how 420 cheating acha 420 ke andar ho jayega par waise to cases kitne honge ultimate motive kya hai hamara cheating ka criminal case karne ke baad paise chahiye usko behind the bars to nahi dalna hai along with 420 one can file 409 that is uh, 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 this criminal breach of trust all right and uh, it is uh, a non bailable offense 409 so the idea uh, when it comes to such kind of money recovery case is multifold one if you're going through the civil manner you have to give notices you have to you know uh, file a complaint under the civil court wait for 6 7 years prove your case get the money you go through the cr- criminal route now here the cops are very vigilant it's it's a matter of money they will not agree to file a complaint at first place they will tell you this is a civil matter you cannot file a complaint in this case but one upper hand you get when you file a criminal case is nobody wants to go behind the bars right especially money matter mein there are people who are not um, someone who has killed a person or murdered a person they have taken money and kind of tried to flee away with the money so inko to reputation to hogi thodi bahut market mein so when you file a criminal case and that also non bailable case and once they are taken into custody that's when um, the entire criminal matter comes in the picture and you can get your money out without waiting for that time of 5 to 7 years this is not a foolproof method but this is one of the ways in which uh, one can go about when it comes to recovery of money ye ho gaya individual to individual let's say your company mein paise dale hai best best example abhi nclt ne list nikala tha real estate humne flat khareed liya hai abhi uh, बिल्डिंग का जो भी कंस्ट्रक्शन था वो अटक गया है नाउ द बिल्डर इज अंडर डेट देयर इज एन एनसीआरटी प्रोसीडिंग गोइंग ऑन व्हाट डू वी डू वेल देन इन दैट केस यू हु आर द बायर बिकम्स द क्रेडिटर एंड यू बिकम अ सिक्योर्ड क्रेडिटर आईबीसी का प्रोसीडिंग होगा रेरा के साथ देयर इज ओवरलैपिंग एंड ओवरराइडिंग ऑफ बोथ द एक्ट्स बट एट द सेम टाइम द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग इज दैट इट्स टाइम बाउंड सो विद इन अ स्पैन ऑफ i think uh, 24 months there will be a judgment wherein part and parcel of money is being paid to you um so that is more of a complete corporate corporate kind of matter yes uh interesting very interesting this also comes under the consumer panel as in the consumer kind of cases most of the time we must have seen that whenever a person is supposed to be uh, hospitalized pehli cheez jo hoti hai hum kisi ko hospital mein leke jaate hain sir form bhar lijiye jo hum film mein dekhte hain wo real mein bhi hota hai yes because that's uh, the way they operate uh, so you have to go you have to fill the form you have to give the personal details okay initial security deposit lijiye wo bhi manga jata hai paise ke taur pe despite of saying that you have an insurance policy you are asked to make that initial payment let's say now the scenario is different a person is in a dire state of emergency cardiac arrest hua hai kisi ko and the family happens to take the person to the nearest hospital for treatment hospital denies to admit him until all formalities are over point number 1 point to that point can the family ask the hospital to attend the patient first keeping the formalities ongoing 
like keeping it side by side can you ask them to do that answer to this is straight away yes that yes it is their uh, obligation to treat the patient first and the formalities can meanwhile go ahead till the time the uh, patient is discharged secondly if the same patient is treated okay and the patient is fine out of danger everything done it's about to be discharged doctor says the patient is fine and can go home it gives a discharge paper now uh, the bill of the patient is overcharged all right is there a remedy to the same can the hospital authorities deny discharging the patient on account of are aapne bill settle nahi kiya hai pehle bill settle kijiye uske baad patient ko leke jaiye can this happen or not yet another interesting uh, stuff to look on section 304a of ipc that is um, which which deals with you know uh, any kind of um, negligent act okay or culpable uh, homicide it is a punish it is punishable under the indian penal code however when it comes to uh, you know denying admission to a person or uh, denying discharge to a person by the hospital authorities denying admission to a patient jacob matthews case it was clearly held that you cannot deny admission to any kind of patient who has come in the garb of emergency point number 2 under your indian penal code you have provisions to your rescue wherein the uh, hospital cannot say that you have not settled the bill so you they can detain the person no person detaining is an offense under the indian penal code settlement of bills of the hospital is a civil matter hence one needs to separate two things that is the services that doctor provides to the patient and the bill that is being created by the hospital so please remember this that no one can deny discharge of a patient just because the bill is not settled uh yep that was from my side and uh, i open the forum for question and answer i'm sorry i think i took a lot of time um hi arpita i have a question for you okay hello Right. Yes. Uh, so what we usually observe is on Instagram there are a lot of people who you know have businesses who sell those things and you know purses there are handbags there are clothes there is jewelry and all but right. uh, in the bio they do not mention any particular address like where mm-hmm. their business is situated or anything but they have like they run a business through Instagram so for instance if i order something from that business and uh, they do not have the option of cash and delivery so i make the payment online i wait for my product to arrive but uh, i constantly keep on messaging them but they block me and i do not receive my product and like i am in default i did not get my product so can we file any complaint against them because they do yes. not have any registered address as such so what action can we take uh see ideally uh, there are two ways to this also one is you going and filing a criminal complaint against them uh, because ideally what has happened to you is nothing but cheating right you have paid money and uh, you are not given your product uh, as well as the person uh, has portrayed that they are sellers but they may or may not be authentic sellers so basis a instagram profile you can uh, firstly file a complaint with the cyber crime division uh secondly um, which is the most authentic way in which people go is a consumer complaint i know you don't have the address to the party you may not be able to send notice to them because you don't have an address but that doesn't stop you from filing a complaint against them i'll give a correlative example to this uh some 2 3 uh, not 2 3 some 4 years ago telegram used to do a lot of piracy okay telegram as a portal it's not a uh, like whatsapp and intermediary right they uh, say that we are we are a cloud we are a drive so they didn't have an office in india and they didn't even have a customer support address or email id okay when you whenever 4 5 years ago when somebody used to hunt for telegram sir founder ka naam aata tha na hi wo app mein kahi jagah hai jahan pe aap complaint file kar sako na kahi aur but when you go to the court and you file the complaint against such kind of entity there is an order that has been given uh, wherein firstly they will have to be traced 
because you know who the exact uh, entity is so they get traced and after that they are made party to the entire uh, incident and let's say if they are not traceable okay then what happens then there is an order that is given in your favor because they don't appear after three instances and basis that order you can enforce it and you can uh, go to the cop and you can ask them to you know help you out and super it the only thing why uh, people usually refrain from all of this is it is very time consuming let's say if you're ordering a product of 300 rupees or 1000 rupees all of this will take so much time that instead of recovering that 1000 you might end up paying another 3 4000 you know just to manage it so yeah that is why people do but the answer to your question is you can thank you thank you so much you're welcome Is there anyone else? Don't shy away from asking questions, please. Um, I have a question as well. Is there any uh, law around AI or anything that's going to come up around AI? I like that question, Darshan. Uh, when it comes to the country like India, uh, please note that हम तो अभी OTT के law के लिए भी अब तक लड़ रहे हैं. डिफरेंस right so when it comes to that we do i personally feel that we don't have a sufficient law in place because they are not recognized as person and whatever laws that we have they are enforceable only against person uh, except for there are exceptions to that uh, which is majorly your company or corporate related laws um but yeah when it comes to uh, ai or it act and the rules there under uh, i think they they are going to come up with uh, rules specifically for artificial intelligence So let's wait and watch what happens. But right now, uh, it's all under the IT Act umbrella. Okay. Another question pops out out of this question is uh, why do why does it usually take time to clear new laws in our country? Like uh, for instance, you said AI is going to take some time, and even uh, OTTs are taking time. So why is it so? uh the answer to your question is on that slide that i shared wherein i said there are three wings the legislator the executive and the judicial fortunately or unfortunately the one who interprets law is not the one who makes law that is somewhere good for us the reason why there is delay is the law maker may or may not be aware of whether that law is suitable for the nation or not and also uh india um evolves a little slowly as compared to other nations around the world so hum uh, the way they are speeding up with technology our pace of speeding to that technology is slow so while we know chat gpt aa gaya hai while we know ki uska ek version bhi aa gaya hai i think gpt4 or something that's what they say uh, ab tak hamare nation ko uh, you know they, it will take them time to understand that there are few instances that is coming up which is misusing that only that's when they will understand that okay there's a law that's needed around it so time is liye lagta hai ki hum log wait karte hai ki is there any misuse that has happened or how how do we take care of this technology we also look up to nations around the world uh, to see what laws they are framing because this technology uh, is being inseminated in their nation right so what laws they have basis that we frame our laws and the legislative and judicial wing it has to be separate and not people say that it has to be separate the law makers and interpreters cannot be the same uh, so that people uh, are given uh, people can get justice however i feel that uh, somewhere there has to be a link between the interpreters and the makers otherwise we will always have a law which will keep evolving got it thank you anyone else the question is kind of similar to vanshika's question this is sorry uh, ashi can you hear me yeah ashi yes yes ashi i can hear you okay so i have heard a lot of cases like 
similar to she said instagram that those are about the olx flip card and such where they've taken the money and not given the product so what from my research what i know i have gone through the whole cyber security and such sites so what are the laws around that that can help us mm as in you saying cyber crime yeah because okay. i have seen most mm. of the cyber cases are not that quickly resolved see uh i i would uh, not completely deny or agree to that uh when it comes to not getting your products on time products not being delivered we usually feel internet related hai uh, hum ja ke cyber crime ka darwaza khatkhatate hain it may not fall under the gamut also correct uh, it is ideally at the end of the day the way i see it i feel it is um, a consumer and um, a uh, the thing seller relationship i the way i will see i will say that one has to go through the consumer way and not through the cyber way in order to uh, get your issue resolved it may or may not fall under the cyber crime issue also when you say flipkart and other portals they are e-commerce portals and uh, they are governed quite separately uh, with respect to um, the products that are being you know delivered to you uh, or rather not delivered to you so cyber crime does take time yes cyber issues does take time in india because there is a process that is being laid down which is a cumbersome but tight proof process i feel that uh, the cyber crime wing that we have in our nation is uh, out of all the executive wings that i see cyber crime wing, wing is working to its optimal level hamara um, i mean going out of the way from the legal aspect the population of our nation is exploding we all know and the number of people who are working there to handle this population is really less plus the procedure that we laid down is way too long right so uske wajah se uh things don't get resolved easily okay and just out of curiosity i wanted to ask like i am not much aware about this but why have they like people have started with the gp and the bank and i think maybe there is something related to that i mean i'm not sure if it's just a law question or a finance question no problem i didn't i didn't get it as in gp or bank as in you're saying that like payment so, mechanism yeah many people have been opting out of gpay because of that are you saying that uh, recent in between there was a circular ki 2000 ke upar rahega to you, you will be charged some 2% are you talking about that yeah and Achha, even I... similar things like they want you to verify your bank account and such things so is there anything particular gpay wants to verify your bank account is it yeah like okay. that's what most of the people have been complaining recently so uh, rbi comes out with rules for all these uh, uh, you know payment gateways uh, they they are uh, governed by uh, a particular set of rules and act um, so the compliance to that uh, is something which is mandatory for them if you see if you look at me as a nation gpay is by google right whatsapp pay is by whatsapp all of these are your uh, international companies that are trying to transgress your finance uh, mechanism in the nation okay and they are dominating it right so in car domination in order to uh, you know keep it under control it is very important for a nation to put certain kind of compliances agar main gp leti hu that in between the circular that had come that if you transfer more than 2000 or whatever 5000 limit you will be charged and all later on a clarificatory statement was given it was it was journalism gone wrong the circular that they had issued did not ever mean that they are going to charge this from the payment gateway it it had no such intention it was in fact when the first time when i uh, checked that news i was also you know taken aback that oh i use gp on day to day basis what now i have to pay so much i mean okay fine then people started carrying loophole ke 1999 is what you transfer in order to avoid that kind of uh, payment but having said that immediately a clarificatory circular was issued on their twitter page saying that this this is no longer their intention they want digital india they want the actual currency monetary cash free india 
so that's why that percentage mechanism no longer holds good and uh, having said banking compliance jo bolte hain it's uh, better for us because now they these payment gateways are also coming under radar ye ab tak hamara information leke baithe hai everything everything that we are currently discussing i just want you to understand one major point here whatever data you are giving everywhere okay i won't say anywhere everywhere whatsapp pe hum data de rahe hain hamara contact list to pura whatsapp ke paas hai आप किससे क्या बात कर रहे हो व्हाट्सएप के पास है इंस्टाग्राम के पास आपको क्या पसंद है क्या नहीं पसंद है अरे एमेजोन के पास तो आपके घर पे क्या चीज आती है वो भी अरे आपके पास फायर स्टिक है या कौन सा एलईडी टीवी है सब कुछ है एमेजोन के पास और हमारे कंट्री में डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल ही नहीं है ये सब लोग आपका डेटा लेके इधर उधर घुमा रहे हैं तो अभी वॉट आर गवर्नमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू डू is that we the सोशल मीडिया बीट एन ई कॉमर्स प्लेटफॉर्म बीट अ पेमेंट गेट वे नाउ इट इज ट्राइंग टू मेक देन comply comply with whatever data they are collecting comply with whatever mechanisms they are putting in place for consumers so that at the back end ye log apna server rakhte hai eu mein ya kahin pe russia mein ya kahin pe you know some xyz place and then they sell off our data saying that they can't follow indian laws so now everything is coming under the radar and all we have to do is hope and wait for a data protection bill which is now known as digital data protection bill to see the light of the day so if they are asking you to comply it is for your good don't worry thank you okay. um i had one more question popping from this question again um how admissible are these chats in the room like in the court of law like for example okay. if there is there are verbal agreements so are they mm-hmm. equivalent to verbal agreement or something else interesting question so your question pertains to admissibility as evidence okay in india it is governed by indian evidence act under the evidence act we have two types of evidence primary and secondary primary evidence kya hai jeeta jaagta chalta firta insaan ye unke liye primary evidence hai secondary evidence kya hai cctv footage messages कुछ भी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक है ये इनके लिए सेकेंडरी एविडेंस हो जाता है सो वेन इट कम्स टू व्हाट्सएप चैट टुडे यू आर लेट्स से किसी के साथ आप बात कर रहे हो कोई फिनेंशियल या बिजनेस रिलेटेड बातें हैं और उसके थ्रू यू नो इफ यू वांट टू एडमिट दैट एज एविडेंस यस दे विल नॉट से दैट दे वॉन्ट एडमिट इट एज एविडेंस बट एट द बैक एंड वी नीड टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग देर आर लूप होल्स इन ऑल ऑफ दिस वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ आई एम डेवल्स काउंसिल आई लाग यू दैट येस इनके व्हाट्सएप से आपको मैसेज गया था यस yes, ये चैट आपने इनके नंबर के साथ किया था बट जब ये सारी चीजें हो रही थी फोन इनके हाथ में नहीं था एंड दिस मूट क्वेश्चन हैज बीन कंसीडर्ड टाइम एंड अगेन इन वेरियस केसेस बिकॉज यू कैन प्रूव दैट अ नंबर बिलोंग्स टू अ पर्सन यू कैन प्रूव दैट देयर वाज अ चैट हैपनिंग बट व्हाट यू कैन नॉट प्रूव इज दैट इट वाज अ पर्सन बिहाइंड दैट हु वाज चैटिंग गॉट इट ओके uh hi i have a question yes actually uh hi so uh, i wanted to know when you said that uh, let's say you break a signal and cops catch you and you said that uh, let's say we don't have license right now but we have 24 hours to get back to them so that's fine but uh, i've heard that you can show them this uh, digi locker yes is it uh, applicable like will it work yes, if it uh it is but uh-huh. however having said that you are right you can show it on digi locker but remember uh, we are in india so kafi bar ye jo cops hote hain na wo khud agree nahi karte digi locker pe inko physical right. license inka brain ek tarah se tuned hai to hmm. you wo jab technology update aa jata hai wo jaldi se yahan update nahi hota hai so yeah that's the only thing otherwise digi locker I, even i have uh, heard and i have come across news that people can show the license in the digi locker and that because that is given by your government only hmm. <coughs> so it wouldn't create an issue but don't argue basis that fact kyunki agar wo nahi manenge to it's better ki ha theek hai mujhe 24 ghante ke liye aapko license dikha de yeah all right thank you Um, guys, if anyone has any questions, you can ask it right now.
um okay so i see no one has any questions left so okay. i would like to conclude uh, by thanking you arpita thank you so much for taking your time out for this session it was a really amazing and informative session we got to learn a lot about the laws actually and uh, we look forward to giving you all uh, thank you everyone for your participation i yes, hope I that you got to learn a lot of things out of this session which will help you further in your life sometime so yeah thank you so much for attending and we look forward to giving you all more such enriching and ups, uh, upskilling experiences and learning and growing with you all so just a small thing we'll be sharing a feedback form so we request all the participants to uh, take a minute out and uh, fill out the form and we'll also be keeping uh, the group open for discussions and queries until tomorrow midnight and our speaker uh, arpita will help in clearing all your doubts yes so oh, thank you yeah. thank you and if i may just interrupt you um you guys can connect with me i have a page blue in you on instagram very active and very quick to provide feedback so don't worry on that and also on linkedin uh, my name is a w r p i t arpita k pat you can search me up on linkedin and you can connect me over there also i'll be more than happy to guide you uh, blue in you is the initiative which is the motive is to guide people to know what their law is because once you know what your law is you can approach a lawyer you can you know speak to a cop with confidence but the idea is to know your basic law yes great um so i would request the participants if you can switch on the camera we'll take a quick a quick snapshot of this thing so yeah please switch on your cameras i don't know my camera is on but uh, is it visible i'm not sure oh um, no you're not visible you could yeah. stop the video and then start it again probably I don't know why, but I am unable to. I start sharing my screen also, right? Okay, I don't know, but my video is only not visible. I'm not sure why. So. Allow me to join from my take phone. A... Yeah, sure. Give me a minute. I'm just joining from my phone. How was it, guys? How do you like it? Is there something that you did not know earlier, is or something that you got a clarification about? Yeah, a lot of things actually. Like a lot of few small things. Uh, I don't know which in particular, but like I feel more confident that cops don't have all the authority, and we can question them back. <laughs> and I think that's enough for today. All right. Uh, I'll take a screenshot now. Okay. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Arvita, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Yeah, good night. Everyone. Yeah. Good night.